forgiveness. It's a concept that's confusing to us for a lot of different reasons. We have a lot of different thoughts about forgiveness. If I forgive you, does that mean that what you did didn't really matter? That it was okay? If I forgive, does that mean I'm supposed to forget? You know, forgive and forget? But what if I'm not going to forget? What happened was important to me. Why would I forget that? Does that mean I can't forgive? And as I think about it more, I think that what you did that hurt me, you did on purpose. Or maybe you just didn't care that you were hurting me and you just did it because it was to your advantage. Should I forgive that? Can I forgive you if you're not sorry? What is forgiveness? We get really confused by these different thoughts around forgiveness, and we miss the fact that forgiveness isn't about the other person. It's about us. If I've been hurt, forgiveness is about me. If you look in a dictionary for it, the definition of forgiveness, forgiveness is about releasing the pain, the grudge, the, the hurt that we have after experiencing a transgression or an offense. So when somebody has done something against us, when somebody's uh, offended us in some way, forgiveness is about letting go of the pain, letting go of the things we're holding on to from that hurt. It has nothing to do with whether the person is sorry or not sorry, whether they meant to do it or not, whether they want to make amends or not. Forgiveness is about our own healing and our own peace of mind. As I talk about forgiveness, subscribe to this channel and click the bell to be notified of other videos. Forgiveness is really about us. Forgiveness is important because when we've been hurt, we take into ourselves that pain. And if we hold on to it, if we ruminate on it, if we allow a grudge to develop, part of what we're doing is increasing our own stress. When we increase our own stress, all kinds of things can happen to us. It can impact our cardiovascular system, like our blood pressure can go up. We may be uh, up night, tossing and turning, worrying about it or thinking it through again, ruminating about it. We may eat more to cope with it. We may stop eating. Our mood fluctuates. It has a real impact on us. So much so that I've seen memes online that make statements that holding a grudge is like drinking poison. While that may be a little extreme, there's a good point here because holding a grudge is holding negativity that builds up and continues to grow in us. Forgiveness is about letting it go, getting rid of it, getting it out of us so that we can be more whole and complete. Forgiveness is not dependent on whether someone else is sorry or whether they have apologized. In fact, part of why we may need to forgive is precisely because what the other person did, they're not sorry about at all. They may have done something for their own advantage. They may have meant to hurt us. Whatever it was, they're not sorry for it at all. But we're left with the hurt. And that's what's significant. We've been hurt and we need to do something about it. We have this image from media that it helps to, to process the hurt by yelling and screaming and having a tantrum. We see that all the time on reality TV shows and talk shows where situations where one person has offended another and that is brought to bear and you know we see these stages with people carrying on and that really doesn't do anything to help resolve what's happening internally in fact it often exacerbates it people like to show that stuff because it's entertaining it's cheap entertainment there are some people who will pick at you to get you to respond because they want to see if they can control you and get a response out of you but the way to let go of the pain, the hurt, is to forgive. Forgiveness is about letting go of pain and hurt and bringing ourselves back to balance, to wholeness, to comfort. Forgiveness is about our well-being. When we forgive, 
we're doing something restorative for ourselves, and that's what makes forgiveness important. Perhaps it'll help you understand forgiveness if I share an incident in my own life where I needed to forgive someone. I'm always hesitant about doing that because I don't want to make this about me. We're all individuals. We all do this differently. But sometimes it's hard to get our heads around some of these concepts. So maybe it'll help if I tell you a story of my actually forgiving someone in real life. So I had made a, a new friend a few years ago. I met someone and was, it was a person that I found to be impressive. I thought he had a nice personality, was engaging, talked about things I was interested in. And he was somebody I simply wanted to get to know and be his friend. As we spent more time together, I realized that I could be helpful and supportive in, in particular ways. So I extended myself to do that, thinking that I was doing a good thing. Well, as time went on, I began to realize that things were getting more and more out of balance, uh, that I felt like I was investing a lot more than he was. And so I, I talked about that, that things just didn't seem quite right. And I realized after we had the conversation that rather than it improving, it got worse. And as time went on, I felt more and more like I was being taken advantage of, that I was essentially being used mostly emotionally, but in some, some other ways too. It got to the point where I thought, this simply isn't healthy for me, and I need to step away from this friendship. I did that, and after I did, I realized that I was not paying attention to a lot of what was happening, that there was a lot of manipulation happening, uh, and, and it, it was really a very convoluted and complex situation. But I had a lot of anger after stepping away. I felt very hurt. I felt really used. And I stood on it. You know, the resentment grew. The grudge was, was forming. Uh, and, you know, I think a lot. You probably got from listening to other videos that I think about life a lot. And I was thinking about this situation and preoccupied. And I got to the point where I was wearing myself out. And I thought, I have to let this go. I have to tangibly let this go. And I knew that that meant that I had to forgive this person for the things that had happened. I knew that he wasn't interested in 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 any way reconciling or in apologizing for anything or, or doing anything to make amends. Because when we had talked about the situation previously, he just sort of listened and smiled, walked away and did more of the same. So I thought, okay, I need to take care of this in my own way. And I thought about how to do that. And you know from other videos that contemplative practice is very important to me. So I thought I would sort of take a form of Buddhist compassion meditation and use it to help me through this. Now in compassion meditation, typically what a person does is sit in silence and imagine three people in front of them. Someone that you're close to that you have a positive relationship with, someone you have a difficult relationship with, and someone with whom you have no particular relationship, you just may have passed them on the street. And one by one, you imagine them surrounded by compassion. And this helps you to grow in a sense of compassion for others. I took that and instead of looking at compassion, I thought about forgiveness. And I began with imagining that I was sitting across from myself and pictured myself and that I needed compassion, but I also needed forgiveness. I needed forgiveness because I created a situation. I allowed a situation to happen where I got hurt. So I needed to forgive myself for hurting myself. And as I did that and imagined that in my, con in, in my meditation, I had a sense of release and a sense of peace. I went from there to imagine the other person, my former friend who hurt me, who manipulated me. And as I imagined him, I began to have all kinds of different emotions. I was trying to extend forgiveness, but I felt 
anger and hurt and resentment. And I kept asking the question why kept coming to mind. And I kept bringing myself back to forgiveness, realizing that I needed to just let it go. And eventually those pieces, those various emotions passed from me and I settled in the silence and extended forgiveness. After that time in meditation, I felt like something broke open in me. I felt more like myself again. Now I needed to do that a few times to really fully let go. But part of why I'm sharing that story is that forgiveness is also something we need to extend ourselves. So that's part of where I needed to begin with self-forgiveness. But forgiveness for in this situation for me or the other person didn't just happen in one moment. It was a process that I needed to repeat multiple times in order to really release the negativity I was experiencing, to let the pain go. In terms of how he feels about all of this, I have no idea. All I know is that he never attempted to make any amends. So that was part of what I needed to forgive and let go of. He's leading his life but I'm able to lead my life with greater peace than I was when I first decided to end the friendship. The way in which you forgive someone for hurting you may be very different from the way I would, and that's okay. The process isn't the important part in terms of what you actually do. The important thing is that you actually come to the point of forgiveness. Some people are easy, easier better able to come to forgiveness than others. And sometimes it depends on, on the situation and the relationship. But however it is, it comes about for you, whether it's something you're able, able to do easily in a situation, or whether you simply get to the point where you're just tired of feeling the pain and frustration. Forgiveness is the process of bringing about peace and restoration for yourself by letting go of the pain, the hurt, and the resentment. Perhaps you would do it in some way like I did in terms of the meditation, or you may write a letter that you never send or journal it through and if you keep a journal. Some people are more physical and so they'll work it out or dance it out or use that energy in some way to get it outside of themselves. Or perhaps use a sauna or some heat to help get the toxin out. Whatever it is, you need to do what's gonna be appropriate for you and engage in a process. But I wanna leave you with an important image to consider in terms of forgiveness. Imagine that you were with someone who cut you with a knife and you're physically wounded. You're not just gonna continue on as though nothing happened. You're going to distance yourself and pull back and tend to the cut. You're going to make sure that it's clean so that you're not infected. You're going to get it properly bandaged to stop the bleeding. You're going to make sure that you're well, that you, that you do what you need to for your own well-being. Forgiveness is like that. We need to forgive because we've been wounded. And the process of forgiveness it's the process of binding up that wound and making sure there's nothing in there that will continue to infect us so that we can restore, restore a sense of balance and wholeness in our lives. So forgiveness is about the forgiver. And it's an important thing to do for our own well-being and our growth. Subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave me some comments about forgiveness and how you've experienced it. Share the video. And thanks for your time with me today.